I'm in my stage file. I'm merging things and able to watch it and noticing little things as I go. And the big thing I notice is that when the creature comes out here, the, the shadow on the creature is hitting the rocks where I don't want it to. So this is where when you merge things together, you can sometimes see these and we can fix them. So if I turn the effects off on the creature, I don't actually want to turn them off because I want them up here, but I don't want them down here. So this is how I fix it just in this instance. I can right click and I can say rasterize layer style. That's that drop shadow I put in. If I rasterize it, they become pixels locked into this layer, which would be bad if I wanted to duplicate it, but is perfect for now where I just need to delete from it, right? So now I gotta delete a little bit more because I'm only at 49% opacity, that's why. Uh, get rid of all of that, that shadow debris. So it's just the creature that's changing. All right. And then I can merge these. And I can go to the next one. And then turn on the effects on the creature, but then rasterize the effects on the creature by rasterizing layer style and erase at least the shadows back here on the rock. It's okay if there's a shadow underneath the creature right there. In fact, that's helpful. Okay, merge those together. This is all to test out the animation and see what frames need to be worked on or what new frames need to be added to show this transformation. All right, here I'm gonna turn on the effects. Here I'm gonna rasterize the layer style, that drop shadow, and I'm gonna keep Keep that shadow under the paw. It really makes a statement that that paw is now coming out. Yeah, I can merge those together. And that's it. So the rest of these, I'm actually going to delete from my stage. Well, I guess I'll keep this one, my next storyboards, so I know what's coming next. Or I guess this is the one I'm keeping. Oh, I need to merge these together. Let's see. All right, let's try it. All right, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve panels. I'm going to turn on my timeline. I'm going to save it. This is my stage. This is my animation test. I'm not all the way through my storyboard yet, even though I have more than nine panels. I'm going to go to window and timeline. And I already know there's going to be some issues, but this helps me to see them. I click on the timeline window options, which are up in the little hamburger. And I say make frames from layers. I then hold down shift, select all of them, set the timing to be 0.3 seconds. That's my default timing. Then I play it through. And because I'm designing it as a flipbook, 
from top to bottom, the frames are reversed because it thinks from bottom to top. So what do I need to do to put that in the right order? But right now it looks like the fern is eating the wolf, which is actually kind of cool. But I can always reverse the order, right? Just by holding down shift and then go into a little hamburger and say reverse frames. Doesn't change my layers at all. It just changes the order in which they're played. Okay, so where are my problems? My first problem is right here in that too much of the wolf is showing there because then in the next frame it's kind of tucked back. So I need to work on that frame. I think these ones are actually working pretty well. I wonder if I can just reorder them. So I have this one, I just move it to before. So it goes from, let's see. Nope. That's a little weird because then it like bucks back and forth. So these are the things. So you, you figure out, okay, how can I fix that? Well, in this frame, I need to get rid of those. I need to just make it a little less extreme so that it flows into this a little bit better. Or maybe I show a little bit more leg in this one. But that stepping out works okay. It's a little abrupt, and maybe I want a little bit more of that fern like be between on that back leg. So that's kind of how we work with it. All right. So now informed by that, I'm going to keep that open. I can go ahead and save it. And I'm going to open up my assets file again. This is where the real work happens. And all those finished frames that I merged, I keep them. I just need to fix the ones. So I'm going to close the timeline so it doesn't distract me. But notice in my assets, I don't have any frames outputted because you can't make changes to layers or you shouldn't make changes to layers when you have frames outputted. Otherwise, it, it creates what are called motion tweens and it will like force them in certain positions and it's easy to make mistakes. So I just close the timeline, and if you do have any frames in your layers in your assets, you just drag those frames to the trash. You do not hit delete, because that will delete your assets. You just move them to the trash. All right, so where we left off was right here, but I need to go backwards to, was it this one? No, was the next one. So I'm going to turn this frame on, which I liked, and then work on the one above it, which I had too much of the, the creature showing. So I'm going to and see what the creature was doing before that. Creature was there. So I think I'm going to shrink this one down a little. Just finding kind of the right placement. So it, it pushes up and then it kind of shrinks back in order to push out. I think that can make sense and tilting out. And now I want to delete away from it a little, my eraser. So it's just the, these paws that matter. Good. And that might be the only change that's needed. Let's make sure. I'm going to go ahead and change the color so I know which one I need to edit and bring over. So it goes from that. And sometimes I'll do this to help. I'll just put them in a group. This isn't the same as merging them. Put them in a group. So 
so I can easily compare with what will come next. Then I think I might want to change this one a little bit. Like maybe have his paw sticking out. So I just cut that out of the fern. This is all trial and error, but you're really thinking about pixels, how to make them show up, where you want them, when you want them. So if I do something like that, and then maybe just take its opacity down a little bit so it's not quite so strong. Right, so it looks like it's kind of shaded. Use a low opacity eraser. Okay, so I think this is a good new one to bring over, so I'm going to group that as well. Okay, so now I can go back. I'm going to save that. Those are my assets. And now to move between, this is what I've been showing a lot of you. I'm going to find those layers. It was this one. I want to replace that. I'm going to mark it red. That's going to get deleted, but I need to move the right layer into it. So I can take this file, find the group that has that frame. There it is. Take that whole group, drag and drop it in. Why does that look weird? <laughs> hmm. No, it should be the exact right size. It's just, oh, I know why because it's not cropped. All right, so it's showing the background on this side. So let me just crop the whole image really quick. There we go. Crop this whole image really quick. This is why we do it in a square. Make it nice and ah, rational. What is happening? Come on. So I want to go to my assets file, and before I move into my stage, I want to crop everything. Because I am not doing a panning shot. I don't need the rest of that background. And I don't need the rest of the rocks either. So now, now that it's cropped, it should just move in nicely. So if I do the group, I drag and drop that group in, then I can use my move tool and just snap it in place. And then delete, this is my stage, I can delete from my stage. I now, ah, I now move on to the next. And then I wanted to replace this one too. And I want to replace that one with the next group. So I'm going to take that group, drag and drop it over while the group's still selected, lock it into place. There we go. And now I got to fix them. but I can save my assets and I can tuck my assets back into the workspace by hovering it there. So now paying attention to your assets versus your stage and to finish off the animation, I'll be working between the two. Get rid of this one. Make sure my timeline is empty 
because otherwise it gets really messed up. 